If I was your preceptor, I would ask you, how does end tidal CO2 relate to blood pressure? Well, there's a saying in anesthesia that end tidal is blood pressure. Well, it's not totally accurate, but it has a lot of truth to it. The tissues in the body produce CO2. The CO2 travels through the bloodstream to the lungs where it gets exhaled and it manifests on our monitor as end tidal CO2. So if you think about it, your CO2 is influenced by pulmonary blood flow. What increases pulmonary blood flow? Cardiac output. So if the cardiac output is increased, all things equal, ventilation equal, you might see a slight increase in your end tidal CO2 on the monitor during anesthesia. If a patient's in a state of low cardiac output, and this is when it's end tidal CO2 is most important, in a state of low cardiac output, there's less CO2 rich blood getting pumped to the lungs and exhaled, so you will see a decrease in end tidal CO2. And these are states of hypovolemia, shock, cardiac arrest, embolism. And generally speaking, patients with a higher blood pressure have a higher cardiac output and patients that are hypotensive may have a low cardiac output. So end tidal CO2 roughly correlates with blood pressure, but it's really more of an indicator of cardiac output. In practice, in day-to-day -day practice, here's why it's important. Your patient under anesthesia might be getting their blood pressure taken every three minutes or every five minutes, but your ventilation is constant and you can see your end tidal CO2 under general anesthesia. So if you happen to glance over and your end tidal CO2 is falling or has dropped a little bit, it might be a good idea to, good idea to take an extra blood pressure uh, because it may very well be lower than where you think it is. Additionally, a sudden drop in end tidal CO2 is an indicator that for some reason the cardiac output may have dropped suddenly, which can indicate all those other things, uh, again, embolism, cardiac arrest, sudden hypovolemia. And lastly, in practice, end tidal CO2 is also very important during resuscitation, during cardiac arrest. Uh, if you're doing CPR and your CO2 suddenly shoots, shoots back up, then that's an indicator that you've gotten return of spontaneous circulation. If you made it this far, I hope this uh, helps somebody out who started clinical this summer, and I hope everything is going well for all of you.